single prisoner altered the fate of hundreds. But he paid a high price for it. defeated the sleeper, destroyed the barrier. But while all the other prisoners escaped, he remained behind in the rubble. It was I who dispatched him against the sleeper. Now it is I who brings him back from there. He is weak and has forgotten much. But he is alive. He's back. There you are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple. But enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. So, hello everybody. My name is Razion. We are going to play the Gothic Live Edition. In today's episode, we are going to try to get accommodated to this new mod for me. I've never played it. I have no clue what to expect. So let's see what the new options are. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper has been banned. You vanquished him, so much is true. But it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, Come! And they came, all of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. But that's not all. There is another threat of which I have learned only recently. Oh, I don't really like the new font for the letters. It's a bit hard to read but luckily we can hear after the fall of the barrier and the banishment of the sleeper Belyar's wrath has grown even greater a mighty artifact so it is written in the old scriptures will be brought back to this world when the god of darkness sends his henchmen out to search this search has long since begun. Belyar's henchmen are desecrating the oldest shrines of the gods. The guardians of these holy places have awakened, and their wrath makes the earth tremble. Every powerful magician on this island can sense this wrath. And some of them have certainly begun to face the threat. You must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Belyar. So we have two new quests. 
I like this line a lot. Well then let's hurry to get out of here. If we flee now, then it's only to face the dragons later. With the help of the soldiers and the magicians who live around here, we can stop them before their army is completely formed. We're not going to get a better chance. So I need weapons before we can do anything. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. I'll have to look into the fonts if I can enlarge them. Because they seem a bit too small. What can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Belyar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Enos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. So the new lines from the new add-on are a bit different, they are a bit rushed. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself was poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Well, the amulet is actually not really strong. It makes you weak against the dragons. Because if you try to wear it once you talk with them, it's going to lose its power while fighting. You can fight with it in the inventory, but it's not going to make you any stronger. It's only for the ability to talk to the dragons, which is a bit sad. Why would the paladins give me the eye of Innos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the eye of Innos. How would the paladins know that's true? The eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. Shall see if that is true. How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers, and you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Since I have gone into exile, the Circle of Fire has taken me for dead, and that's a good thing. Oh, the first chapter. The Manos. We do have some mods installed. Patch. Settings. We have the Infinite Print. It's turned on at the moment because I believe this is a hard version of the, the game. Then we have Union Advanced Inventory and some green in info. Uh, we have Quick Loot I believe also. Yes, we do have Quick Loot. Because I've played the game a couple times but never on the Liver Edition. And it makes more sense to have it installed. So the change the button, they move it from the stove to here, which I find it quite good. We are going to loot everything that the Sardas has. Oh. Un oh, the, the, the writing is so bad. The books, if they are not red, they have this red marking. The name is red because... Oh, uh, green. Sorry, hey, not red. You. I'm not colorblind, I prop. Can you tell me anything about this stone tablet? First, I suspected it might be a magical artifact, but I finally concluded that it is not of any great significance. I have not been able to decode the meaning of this tablet entirely, but it seems to concern the history of a very old culture. If you want the tablet, it's yours. I have no use for it. But where exactly are we, True. Where exactly are we? As I already said, near the city of Corinus, I have rebuilt my tower here. But it's only been a few days since we last saw nice each other in the point. Valley of Mines. 
The servants I summoned to build my tower have done a thorough job. Well, you can say that again. Nice mod, Sardas. Where can I find better equipment? The closest place where you can get better weapons and armor is the city of Corinus. But down in the valley, you can find some healing herbs that will help you if you get injured in a fight. See the lake right in front of my tower. A secret passage leads to the valley from there. Why is the Circle of Fire not supposed to know about you? I used to be a high member of the Circle. Even then, I suspected that demon magic might be the key to the magic barrier. But I could never have convinced the other members of the Circle to follow this path. So I left the Circle in order to study the Black Arts. That is a crime for which the Fire Magicians, the Ordained of Enos, the Ever Good and Virtuous, will accept no excuse. They are certain that I'm still alive, but they have no idea where to find me, and that's a good thing too. He said that it's a good thing that they think that you're dead, and now you're not dead. Make up your mind, old man. So what should we do next? We shall proceed as planned. There's no other way. You can go get yourself the Eye of Enos, and I shall keep looking for answers. So what we shall proceed. You can go oh, get sorry. We have to read this book also. Hey, what? Sorry, you watch it. Ah, the font, you cannot read anything lately. Wine. Oh, yeah, the, this mod alters a lot of things. Oh, we, have got, we got a weapon. So you can see the inventory, the union inventory thing. It has sorted stuff. There are a lot of alchemical ingredients. Oh, where are you going? You think? So the new graphic is nice because this is a hard mode. We will need a sprint. We are going to play as an dexterity character an archer anything new outside here nope nothing so far so we are going to read also these those books even so we cannot read anything as you can see now we start with 100 hp and not anymore 40 but i suppose we are going to get much less per level up so this is the character menu we got one hand, two hand, bow and crossbow, 5% instead of 10. And we have a new skill, crit hit chance. That's not more tied to the skill of the weapon. Which is going to be interesting for people that play mellow weapons. We are going to play dexterity and bow. I, I never played like that. Hmm. I don't have a lock pick or the key. Oh, where is the key? It's not here anymore. Where is the key? It used to be here. Mm, it down there somewhere? Did I miss it? Oh, look what's there. Why cannot we pick it? There. Quite hidden. So this mod alters a lot of the world. And the gameplay and the balancing. We got gold scroll lockpicks and, and the dagger. This goes even higher. I like the new graphics. It might look a bit dark. Not sure if that's also going to go on the video recording. For me it's a bit too dark. I know nothing about picking locks. So two chests that we can pick lock. We are going to learn pick locking, TVing and everything. We got a scroll. And I'll here never get this open with another a key. Is there another key going to be hidden somewhere? Oh. What's that? Oh, we have quick save, okay. We don't have the jumping on the right mouse, I do like it. 
Where is the jump? Okay. Ah, it tells us that we died. Why can we jump there? There must be something if we can jump. Oh, there was a skeleton. Skeleton, probably he has something. But how can we survive this jump? Like this? Nope. This is a good start. Dying right away. Yeah, he has a weapon and some squirrels. Probably it's a good weapon. Do we have to play with the up with controls? Is there another way to reach it there? Oh, there we can jump. Okay, I'm going to try to jump and see if I can make it. I'm not going to cheat. Finally, we made it up here. Oh, assassin dagger. This weapon. Need 30 dexterity? Fire skill. I have no clue what's what requires skill is. Required skill or health? Required health? I believe that's dexterity, so I have a good weapon, a new weapon. After a couple tries I managed to do it, not cheating. And now to get down here is going to be very tricky again. Okay, we survived that. And this, and hopefully this, okay. We managed to loot it. I, I still have no clue what, what it's required. Required shield, skill, skill. Needs skill 15 and not enough skill 30, I believe that's dexterity. We will have to, to sleep now. We cannot sleep anymore, like before, only oh, and one hour will not kill us. So it's 12 o'clock, we sleep. Okay, we are going to sleep a lot longer, because it's going to be dark, and during the dark is no fun. Day 2, 2.30, we will have to sleep. Four more hours should be enough. It's early in the morning. So I do know that we cannot take meat anymore of the animals. We will have to learn that and I believe that's going to be needed. This here. Okay, roll. Bad. Is that for us. Down here do we have new things because the... Hmm, that only killed. The plants, they were up there by Sardas. Got a weapon. Oh, we get the bell. Okay. Strength and now. Kill 30 then. Must be dexterity then. We are going to pick every gold. Because I believe there are price or the prices did change. Everything is going to be more expensive, which is good because the normal gothic was way too easy for many of the people. So look how beautiful this looks now. I have no shadows? Why? Quality. Probably because there, there is no sun here. We can now easily access the back of the Sardas Tower. 
some goodies here. Oh, the, there are they. Here, molar rats. We have no map. This is the new shortcut to go to the tavern, I believe. Orleans Tavern. But we are going to go to the city. We will need to reach the city as soon as possible, as fast as possible, to get the learn the skill to gut animals, take their their pelts and the and their meat. Because if everything is going to be expensive, it's going to take all our money. We will need money for the for the armor for the dragon hunter because we are going to play the mercenaries even to after two weeks they forgot who we are oh new sounds okay oh oh that's a lot of damage we only had to build okay that's a lot of damage that the little guy did oh, something it's a bit too dark. I don't know if that's how it's going to look on the camera, on the end product of the video. Got the bow, so we are going to play. How much does an arrow? Yeah, the arrow costs five gold, not one gold anymore. And one hit of the goblin took us 25 damage. Going to eat some things. this one we are not going to go in the in the cave here we should have an wolf oh fell down okay we still can still kite them a bit as you can see there is nothing to plunder There were some plants because of the mod. It's hard to find plants, but I believe we are going to get a mod that will show us. Oh, Did we get some experience. One less arrows for nothing. Around. That's not smart. That wasn't smart at all. And we got no experience, but it's okay. There is going to be plenty more of experience, more than what we will need. We have to see how the balancing is done. Got a leather satchel. Good. Let's talk to Cavalier. Hey, you. Wake up, old man. Get up. Trouble. Damn. I don't know where they're all hiding. You kill one, and shortly afterwards, they're all back again. Wait a moment. I know you. You're the fellow who was constantly baking arrows for me in the Valley of Mines. Your name is Cavalorn. If we remember people, we get experience. That's good. Me after all we went through in the cursed colony. Where are you heading? If we tell him that we go back to the Valley of Mines, we get a quest back right away. Valley of Mines. Really? Hmm. I wish I could follow you, but I have to finish my duties here first. When you're in the Valley of Mines, could you please look around and see if my old hut is still standing? I'd like to return there one day. Interesting armor you're wearing. Don't you belong to the Shadows anymore? Shadows? They haven't existed since the fall of the barrier. The moment we could finally leave the Valley of Mines, there was no reason for me to stick with them. Now, I work for the Water Mages. I belong to the Ring of Water. We are going to use all the options and probably we are going to talk to the bandit and then make a cut there. Let's see how, how long it's going here? to take. I'm sitting tight. If it hadn't been for these damn bandits, I wouldn't be here. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. I'm not really allowed to talk about it. All I can do is send you to Vatras. He is the representative of the Water Mages in Corinus. The best thing would be to talk to him. 
Tell him you've come from me. Maybe he'll take you on as one of us. We urgently need more good people. Weren't you and your people enemies of the Water Mages back then? Those crazy old days are over. There isn't any more new camp or old camp. Now that the penal colony no longer exists, everyone is on his own. Most of us former prisoners are still being hunted. The Water Mages were able to get my sentence commuted, and now I can move about freely. What are the Water Mages doing now? They're up to something big. It has to do with an unknown region of the island. An unknown region? Where is it supposed to be? I can't tell you more. Talk to Vatras in Corinus. What was that about bandits? Have you slept through the last few weeks? Huh? I'm talking about all the riffraff from the penal colony that are making themselves at home here in the area, plundering and murdering for all they're worth. <sighs> I guess I'm lucky they didn't kill me. I let down my guard for one moment, and they clubbed me from behind. No idea how I'll get all my stuff back now. You were robbed by the bandits? Yes. They beat me down and tossed me to the goblins for lunch. It was damned important stuff. A letter and all my money. I absolutely have to get it back. But without someone to watch my back, I'm not going back there. That cowardly rabble. Can I help you with the bandits? Maybe. But as scrawny as you look, you surely haven't held a proper sword in your hand for weeks. Well, I don't have any choice but to take your offer. My time is running out. So, pay attention. Down this path here, you'll find one of those filthy holes in the ground that bandits like to hide in. The fellows there are the same ones who stole my stuff. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll nab the rabble. We are not going to do that first. We are going to talk to the bandit and get more experience because we are going to need as much experience as possible. We need health because you have seen how much damage the monsters did to us and how little normally we would kill a goblin with an arrow. I need better equipment. Those swine haven't left me much. I can give you a wolf knife. Will that do for now? You call that a knife? But what about healing? I still have two healing potions here. Interested? Sure, give them here. But we are not going to mix up with those guys. Oh, it's nice now he's sitting. And his aim is blue. The weapon that he gave us is a bad weapon, but... Where is it? Oh, it's one hand. But it's worth some money. Oh, we can use the rusty weapon now. More damage. Because of the strength that... This is not good because the, strength, the range is so small. Oops, sorry. Before we talk to the bandit, we will go and kill the wolf that's going to send the bandit there. Because we have more quests. Oh, there is another pet. Prison colony. Probably this is an alternate way to the, the uh, mines. Let's see, Wolfie, what we can do together. The wolves keep more experience now. Okay. Ooh, a lot of damage. Nothing to be had there. So now we can talk to the bandit and tell him that Cavalron is going to come. He's going to come here. Then we talk with a mallet from Lobart's farm and then we'll tell him that Lobart is coming from him hey, where do you and then we're going to get a lot of experience for that. But do not tell him you come from Sardas, you come from the mountains. I've come from the mountains. Exactly, you come from the mountains and that is bad for you. Very bad. They're looking for you, a whole bunch of evil guys. There's someone here you absolutely have to talk to. Follow me. He has a new armor, I do like that. Always pick the middle line. Who's looking for me? Half of Karinus is after you. And you're trying to tell me that you don't know anything about it? Ah, I see. You just don't want to talk to me about it, hmm? All right, it's your business. So, are you coming or not? Who should I talk to? To my leader. His name is Brago. He can explain everything to you better than I can. 
So, what about it? Are we going? How do I know this isn't a trap? You know, I'm getting tired of you. If you don't want my help, then just go to the city and let them put you behind bars. You come with me now or forget about it, see? But this is a reminder of the quest in Gothic 1, the one with the necklace. You don't pay protection money. Easy, my friend. Someone else already tried to trick me. Oh? This guy suggested that we should get an amulet together and share the profit. Once we reached our goal, he and his friends attacked me. It sounds as though they got you involved with the wrong people. Where was that? Yeah, you, you tell him the truth now. I was a convict in the mining colony. You come from behind the barrier? Man, then we were there together. I don't know you. I was a digger in the old camp. I didn't have much to do with the whole thing. But what is more important now is you are in big trouble. Someone has put a pretty price on your head, and he's handed out a few posters with your mug on them. If I were you, then I would be very, very careful. There are people with us who would kill their own mother for gold. But I think we boys from the penal colony ought to stick together. Then I guess I better thank you now. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just make sure you stay alive. He's a good guy. So... I wouldn't go into the cave up here if I were you. My buddies in there will tan your hide, and they know something about fighting. If you don't have any money in your... Then it's going to be a trick. So let's try it. Who's the fella who pays the bounty? That I don't know. There's only one of us who knows him. And who would that be? Hey man, I can't really tell you that. You know how it goes. Ten gold pieces for the name of the guy who raised the bounty. Oh man, I really can't do that. Spit it out already. Oh man, alright. His name is Dexter. Near the big farm, there's a steep rock. There's a watchtower up there, and a few mines. He has his hideout somewhere nearby. Uh, I just realized I haven't got ten gold pieces. This left. is the trick. What? It's no money I... in inventory. Oh, forget it. It's my own fault. I shouldn't have told you the name before I saw the gold. And just don't tell him who told you. Can I have the picture? Sure. After all... It's your mug on there. Is there anything else that might interest me? You mean about the area here? If you want to stay alive, stay on the paths. The farther you go into the wilderness, the more dangerous it is. There's now we get experience. There's a lot of trouble here before long. What's up? A guy named Cavalorn is coming to get you. Guys, he's still alive. I'm out of here. So, and then when we go to the Bangor and tell, not Bangor, sorry, to the Lobart, to the Mallet, and then we tell him about the bandits, we can come back to the bandit and tell him that Mallet is after him, and then we can kill him, because he's going to come here and the works is going to kill him in chapter 3, I believe. So, old friend, let's go kill the bandits and then we will make a cut. Let's mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now they're in for a nasty surprise. I believe he's immortal. Oh, he can sprint also. Without sprint is going to take a long time. And the quick loot is a, a blast to have. But we are going to let him kill because this time he's going to get the experience for us. We don't want to lose any more life. Look at the cave, how beautiful it looks now. He's immortal, okay. There are shells, okay. You deserve that low life. Yeah, you tell him. Oh, we got more arrows. You poor Quick loot. Sucker. You don't even have a box. Okay, so what we want. Ha, they shouldn't have messed with me. Then I can finally fulfill my mission. I've lost too much time already. What sort of mission? Ah, yeah. First I have to get into the city, and then later. Ah, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time. 
What about me? Hmm, why not? You could take the letter into the city. Then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment. One of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. First buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Can teach us something. Teach something. Sure. You know that. Man, they really took a lot out of you. You can't remember anything at all, can you? Can I want he to teach learn us? Your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know? One hand. Bow. Nick. Nick is good only if we want to, to steal and as a merc mercenary probably we'll have to learn it to be able to sneak. There is a trick to jump but we are not, we are not going to use cheats or abuses. So we are going to make a cut here. After this we are going to do the Lobart's farm. It's The beginning is going to be a bit slow because we try to learn everything and... Oh, by the way look at the or HP. One less monster around. What did you kill? Did he kill anything? A goblin spawned here. Weird that it spawned and we didn't get experience. Well, it's okay. So I was saying that her HP got only increased by 5 and not 12 anymore as normal. But we started with a lot more, so we shall see. I'm going to make a cut. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay cool. Bye bye.